You know what? There's no more fun and efficient way to fish than fishing from a kayak. But if you're serious about kayak fishing, there's not a better tool out there for reducing frustration and managing boat position than the new micro anchor available from PowerPole. Listen, if you're ready to take your fishing to the next level, you need the new PowerPole micro anchor. Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. I'm Chad Hoover, and we are on a beautiful Middle Tennessee River, remote. We're not gonna tell you the name of it. You gotta find places like this yourself, but I'm with the guys from TN Moving Waters, and we're chasing some big old backwater bronze bags. kind of small at the beginning and we actually had to kind of limbo underneath some branches and push some branches out of the way and navigate through some really nice tight water but just adds to it. We're going to be going through you know shallow sections and then connecting to the deeper holes and most fish are going to be around the deeper holes because they feel more comfortable in deeper water. When they get real aggressive they'll swim up on the shoals and chase some minnows in the shallower water. We find some really unusually large smallmouth in these creeks because these creeks we're fishing are connected to really good smallmouth water, be it rivers or lakes. And a lot of these big fish will come up to spawn in the springtime. And then they find such favorable, favorable conditions, they'll just live here the rest of their life. A 20 inch creek fish is approximately 16 to 20 years old. So these fish are slow growing and live a long time in this kind of environment. There's two smallmouth that keep swimming up to it and looking at it. I think there's a bed right here. So what I've got here is I've got a bed down here. These fish are not committed to the bed yet, so they're hanging in this cove back here and they're establishing kind of their protected area and they're running stuff off. So this bass will dart at it, trying to spook it off, playing a little game of chicken, but she won't eat it. And so I'm just gonna keep, for lack of a better way of putting it, antagonize her until I get her to eat it. And the buck is down here and he's doing a little swarm. He's establishing kind of a perimeter guard and the female is staging. She's getting ready so that when she's ready, she can ease into the bed, drop her eggs. The male can fertilize them and then she'll move on. Well guys, we got a really big bass right here. We got a buck that's set up on the bed and he's running out and he's, what he's doing is he's establishing the perimeter. So right now he's concerned about panfish. He's getting them scattered out of the zone. Uh, the nest raiders, you know, your lizards, your crawfish, or things like that, they're going to attack those in the second phase. And so right now she's in there swimming and she's basically circling like a shark. If they swim and circle and never stop, they're pretty much uncatchable in my opinion. What's, it's when they swim up to the bait and they look at it and they fan their peck fins at it that they're trying to spook it. That's when they're catchable but you have to invest the time to agitate them. And we've got a long float and we got a late start. So I'm gonna have to let this girl do her thing and head on down the river looking for some more cooperative fish. But this can be both amazing, fun, and maddening at the same time. And honestly, whether you catch the fish or not, you learn a lot by doing things like this, by just sitting here and observing. And you know, we've got the kayak right on top of it. She's actually swimming under the nose of the boat right now. And that's another one of the great things about kayak fishing. So. I'm going to ease over there and grab my spinner bait, and we're going to head on down the river. Stay tuned as the guys head downstream and the smallmouth action starts to heat up. Oh my god, dude. Keep him on. That's a giant. Nice. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.